I just found two dead cockroaches in my apartment. And then I got rid of them and I was like, fuck, maybe they're just all dying. And then I saw the real one and I was alive. I'm like, no point, we're gonna love so much when I have fucking cockroaches. Cause I can't, I literally can't even get myself to go back in there. Okay guys, I'm leaving work early to go look at apartments. Um, so I figured I'd take you guys on this journey because it really is something else finding an apartment in this goddamn city. One side. <laughs> to the other. That's the room. Okay, I started seeing apartments today at um, 1.30. It is now eight o'clock at night. The price is not right for most of them. Uh, you know what I did forget? I forgot that you need first, last, and a broker's fee. Broker's fee is 15% of the annual rent. Uh, I have $4,000 total to my name. So, um, yeah, no, I'm just fucked. Don't cry, don't cry. I look like a friggin' insane person, which is which is correct. I am going insane looking for apartments. This has been the most grueling, insane, devastating experience. Uh, I this is my first time looking for an apartment by myself. Usually, I have someone to like lean on and and you know do the work together. This is this is adult shit, man. That I am just clearly not put up for but uh made out for i don't know whatever it's uh it's been tough you can't get your hopes up that's one thing and i'm not getting my hopes up right now but there is a new revelation the one of the only apartments that i really loved was listed for like the very tippity top of my price line and so i decided after looking at all the apartments i was like i'll just i'll just apply and so i'm just went to go apply and the application is much less than the asking price online. I'm just gonna run with it. Maybe it was a, an error on their part, but when I went to go look at it, it was one price and now I'm applying and it's a much lower price. Fingers freaking crossed. That's where I'm at right now. All right, not very sure where we left off last time, but uh, I have been talking to maybe, not even kidding, maybe 17 agents today. Today is um, Tuesday, which means I have five days to move and find an apartment. Uh, so I've been talking to 17 agents today. I've scheduled seven showings for today and tomorrow. I found one in Greenwich Village that is perfect. And I really think that's gonna be the one. So I'm gonna see that one tomorrow, but tonight I have three that we'll check out. Um, just like really stressed out, like really, really stressed out. But uh, at least I got my buddy with me also. The application that I put in for it, it was a mistake. It wasn't going for less than what I thought it was, but I did get approved. So that's huge. I was worried I, was worried I wasn't going to get approved. That is approved pending a negotiation of a talk down on the sale because the apartment's been listed for like a month. And usually that means like they, they need to fill the space. So sometimes they'll go down on the price. But after seeing all the apartments today and tomorrow, I think I'll have a better idea where I want to where I want to go. I think, I think we're making good progress. Now let's go see those fucking apartments. Okay, apartment hunting today went really good. Like, great actually. I think I found the one. It's, um, well, I'll show you. Now it is a basement, um, which is, you know, not, not ideal. I always said that I would never go back to the basement after living in the basement in my childhood home. But there's my own little like back porch. And then on top of that, there's a shared roof upstairs where, uh, that everyone can use. And there's an elevator and there's a lot of space and I think it's perfect and it's the cheapest one I've seen so far. So I think we've got a winner, but we're also looking at a couple tomorrow. So in the meantime, I've applied for that one. I liked another one I saw today, but it's a little pricey. And tomorrow I have one that's in Greenwich Village, which would be absolutely amazing. Hopefully I get it. If not, seeing a couple more tomorrow. Things are looking up. my dick off i feel like i've started every video like this but who the hell moves in august i don't i just, ugh, i don't even know anyways everything that could have gone wrong has gone wrong with this move um i got the cheapest apartment because that's what i can afford and then i read the lease agreement and it's 150 dollars extra to pay for the rent no ifs ands or buts 
that's just that's like that's something I would have budgeted for, you know. I I would have got. <sighs> but I mean, at least I'm not gonna be homeless. Oh, oh, totally forgot. My movers just canceled on me. Just said fuck you, see you later. I was waiting to confirm what time I could move in, and they just said oh too long, waited too long. I was like, it was two hours. The, the office wasn't open yet. But I figured out movers. It's all good. I'm not getting that influencer special uh, freebie deal that everybody else gets because I had no time to find an apartment. So I told them way too late and they, they weren't willing to save a, f a free move, which I understand, but like have some freaking decency, man. <sighs> oh God. And oh, and just like all kinds of like silly things. Like I had to go get a cashier's check um, uh, oh, just to be brutally honest with everyone, Brianna's giving me a loan so I can even move in because the broker's fees are just way too crazy and insane. I, I mean, thank God I have a really awesome best friend. My, this is a mess. Thank God I have a really awesome best friend who can, who has the opportunity to give me that loan or else I'd be homeless or on her couch. And I understand that that's, those two things are just not great. Um, what else did I want to fill you guys in on? Oh, I currently have $280 in my bank account because of all of this. Uh, what else? Oh, Brianna's out of town, so she can't just give me the cash and you, to sell that much money, you cannot do that. So I have her credit card information that I'm, that she's letting me use for everything. Oh, I wanted to thank you guys so much for all your help during this move. I don't know if you know, but you've really helped me out from getting my couch gone to uh, my last minute mover cancellation um you guys gave me recommendations and then um helping me find a place everyone's been so helpful with that finding me a broker that was huge it, i think it's all finally coming together i don't even know if i like my apartment anymore but at least i'm not going to be homeless highly don't recommend i i'm probably going to stay in my apartment forever because i'm not doing this again I'm not i'm just not my current super just knocked on the door uh while i was recording those and um when i opened the door he said jesus christ are you all right Oh, also, um, today is Friday. I have to move on Monday. I have a going away party tonight and a birthday party on Saturday. So it's looking like Sunday is gonna be a fun day. <laughs> I could cry my little eyes out right now. All right, I'm up here on my roof. It's one of my last nights up here with this view. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm um, just kind of taking it all in. You know, every time I move in New York, it feels like a new chapter, but this time I'm like very excited. And I'm not just saying I'm excited to make myself feel like I'm excited. No, I like I actually am. I think it's gonna be good. I'm back in the East Village. Hopefully everything works out. I'm I'm worried that I'm gonna get thrown one more wrench before I move, but I think it's gonna be good. I think everything's gonna work out. And uh, but I have to go to bed because it's Saturday. I move on Monday, and I left all the packing just Sunday. And I'm I'm a little drunk right now, but uh, I hope hopefully I don't wake up hungover tomorrow because I left everything to do tomorrow. So tomorrow's packing day. See you there. Packing day. Uh, I'm so excited to do this. <laughs> Starting at four o'clock, of course, and um, movers will be here at nine o'clock in the morning. Just had a nice group of fellas take my couch. That's one thing off the list. Now I'm gonna have to buy a new couch. Um, which is fine because um, the last one was a hand-me-down from Brianna, so it's time to get new stuff. Okay, it is now 4.30. It's time to go get the boxes. It's time to start doing this friggin' thing. Luckily, I have a 24-7 hardware store right next to my house, but I don't know how many boxes I need. I'm probably gonna have to come back later tonight. I'm gonna start with, I don't know, four big ones and four little ones, I guess. Not that anyone cares, but I ended up only getting four small and two big because Boxes are expensive. Update, I think the Adderall's working. Um, everything's color coordinated so I can wash it before I pack it away. It's gonna be a lot of laundry. That's not even, it's not even half of it. Which is crazy because I never have anything to wear but I have a lot of clothes. I think every, every girl in the world can agree on that. I, I had a good groove going and I lost it, but I just ordered four pirate waters from GoPuff, so that'll, that'll change everything. I think, I think I'm gonna be sitting pretty after that. All right, my pirate water's here and it's dinner time, baby. Time for a break.
Cheers. Um, okay, um, this just flew into my window. It's not a cockroach, it has, oh my God, it's, you guys have no idea how big this is. Like for scale, like, oh my God, I don't know what to do about that thing. It needs to die. What is that? Go, go back to where you came from or so help me God. Fuck you. Seriously, fuck you, I don't have time for this. I have to, I have to make sure you get out of, I have to make sure you get out of here. I have to fucking make sure you get out of here before I can do anything else. Come on, you're ruining my day. Get the fuck out there. Oh my God, he's coming for me. He's coming right for me. He's charging up. I will fucking kill you, motherfucker. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Get out of here. Go back to where you come, go, go back to where you came from more. So help me God. Seriously, go. Get, get. I will fuck you up, bitch. And then right when he leaves, I'm going to shut the window and I'm going to fucking have a heat stroke. Fuck you, brother. You dirty bastard. Uh, this is what I like to call a nightmare. <laughs> it's 1030. It's two in the morning and um, I might just be halfway ready. Um, it's 346 in the morning and um, I think I'm about like three quarters away done. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm just going to, I'm going to finish and clap my hands like a cartoon character and then they're going to go ding dong. Movies are here. All right. Okay. Finally packed. Uh, but I did just realize that I forgot to leave myself out an outfit. So there's no worries there because guess what? It's already the morning. Good morning, New York City. All right, I'm gonna go to bed and get three hours of sleep and then uh, head on over to the, the new digs. Later, I'm delusional. Moving guy, I'm the moving to payment. We're already halfway done. It's, um, they're like pretty much done. And they've been here for 10 minutes. Like, truly a piece of cake. Yay! I'm my new apartment, and as soon as I got here, I ate shit in front of the building, which only seems right. You guys, this is crazy. I can't stop smiling. I'm, I'm like literally so freaking happy with my new apartment. I can't wait to show you guys. I'm gonna show you at the end of this vlog because there's still so much more to do for the whole moving aspect of things. But this is, this is awesome, man. I am, I'm really stoked. Like I haven't been genuinely, gen, genuinely this happy in a long time. So this, this, I could cry. What the heck? <coughs> first things first. Got, got a Chris in the fridge. Mm, the fridge is a little dirty, but this looks, I mean, this is, um, insert. Oh. Okay, I'm back in my old apartment. We just have to uh, clean up. Guys, this is Alex. She's been my roommate the past year and a half. Yeah. Yeah. Now we're going our separate ways. All right, well, um, we're gonna finish cleaning here and uh, I'm gonna take one more shower. So this is where we first met when, um, when we were deciding to be roommates and we decided it's only fair to have one more drink before we go. Goodbye room that was giving me a lot of depression and I never, ever, ever cleaned it. <laughs> I was so embarrassed this is for you to see it. <laughs> she had a beautiful clean room, but um, yeah, this she was, was a, okay. she, she was there. good. She yeah. was good to us. Okay. That's probably the best bathroom I'll ever have in Manhattan. <laughs> and our tiny little viewing party. There's a tiny nice TV there. Yeah, this is probably the best we'll ever gonna do. Actually, you did great. You did better. I did pretty you good too. Did you did better. So what the hell? I just had yes. it in my head that this is the best we could ever do. No. But we're moving on up. Yes. Moving on up. Alright, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Ah! It's not this one, it's not here. I just sat down here because I can't stop crying because I have uh, cockroaches in my apartment. In my new apartment that I 
love so much we have fucking cockroaches and I like refuse to go back there my dad my dad's supposed to come next week and patch everything up and try and get rid of them but I can't even I'm gonna I'm never gonna sleep again <laughs> I'm trying to see if he can come today because I can't I literally can't even get myself to go back in there so gross I eat cockroaches I forgot to record it but I slept at a hotel last night this is bad. Okay, now my family's coming to help me. So I got us a hotel in the meantime because I was just sitting in a cafe. And oh my God, I have to stay in friggin' Times Square. <laughs> okay, I'm at my second hotel of the day and my parents are pulling up any second now to come help me with this problem that I have. They're gonna set traps and cock, cock this shit up. Cock this shit up quick. They're here! <laughs> <laughs> so the moving vlog turned into a family day vlog molly and my parents came to help me out but uh, my dad's back in my apartment setting booby traps um so he was a plumber for like 20 years and he said that if i had a cockroach infestation all the places that he checked they would all be squirming they'd be all like they it would be i he would know if i had an infestation I just had a couple and I overreacted and um, we're setting up traps and we're making making the poison for them to for them to eat, take back to the nest and kill them all. Which sounds devious and I like it. As far as an infestation goes, that's not true. I just they opened up a manhole on my street and so they scattered into my apartment for one day and I overreacted. But that's okay. Now we have family day. Well, my dad does everything in my hot, hot apartment, the poor guy. So we're gonna go buy a fan so he's not overheating because my AC broke, of course. Okay, mother's off the phone. Grandmother fell last night. She's, she's okay. okay. She's okay. We just got big glasses. Molly didn't, Molly doesn't want them. That's why she didn't get them. She's got her roses. Pops came in, saved the day. Say hi, Pops. What's up? For working so hard all day. Setting traps, hanging curtains. Does it all, this guy. I was supposed to be homeless playing rent without him. Say hi to the YouTube. What's up, motherfucker? And this bitch. <laughs> I got the best. <laughs> right, we're going to the roof while oh, dad works so hard. It's two in the morning. Everyone's so sweaty because it's so hot in here. But dad just saved the day. Thank you, dad. You're welcome. Give it one more time with enthusiasm. Thank you, dad. You're <laughs> I know. Well. Seems like things are gonna be all right, huh? Bye, guys. Thanks thought, for your help. Thought it wasn't gonna rain. <laughs> no doors on the Jeep in New York City. That's just how we do it, bitch. <laughs> okay, today is August 13th. Officially, well, tomorrow will be officially two weeks since I moved in. And now I can finally show you guys. Thanks to my dad. My dad is a rock star. He got 3,000 dad points this weekend for helping me out. He is more afraid of cockroaches than I am. He was a plumber for 20 years and a high voltage electrician for however, I don't know, like a, another 20 years, I feel like. And he saw a lot of cockroaches and he might be more afraid of cockroaches than I am. Uh, one of his first jobs when he was plumbing was he walked into a bathroom and the walls were moving. There was that many. The biggest part about all of it is he looked in every nook and cranny, he moved every appliance, and he said he didn't see any. None, zero, zip, zilch. If I had a problem, he would have saw it and would have told me to move out or break my lease because it would have been that bad. So huge news that we didn't see any there's i mean there's he said there's gonna be a couple stragglers here and there just dying off because he put a bunch of poison shit around so like here and there i might see some dying off but to not have an infestation is huge and then once they all die off i'm smooth sailing this has been a nightmare <sighs> i jinxed myself i made a tiktok and said that every time i've moved it's been a nightmare and not this time well this time it was so anyways without further ado here's my new apartment none of it is ready yet but i do want to show you guys because this has been a journey. All right, so when you walk in, this is my kitchen. There's a little coat hanger. My kitchen is pretty dynamo, pretty big. New appliances, which is, which is huge. I feel like I should go 0.5 mode. And then I'm gonna get rid of this, but I can like make like a coat rack area here. And then we go into my bathroom. Beautiful, clean, nothing scary. That's, I always think that's gonna be a cockroach, but it's not, it's just the, the marble. It's just the marble. And then it's awesome because, hey guys, it's awesome because I have so much storage. Very excited about all the storage. It looks like a friggin' pharmacy. I've just, I've, read, I've just, 
okay, yeah, we're okay. My cabinets look like a drugstore and it is so sick because when I was growing up, I had three younger sisters and a mother and we all shared, we were always out of like shampoo. Like we were always out of shampoo, no conditioner. We were always out of conditioner because four girls using conditioner all at the same time. So that's the bathroom. Um, and then here's the first closet. Still scared that something's gonna come out of here. Um, okay, and that's how my dad set it up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix all of this, but that would be the uh, the sweatshirt closet, I do believe, and coats and whatnot. Then we keep walking, and oh, full transparency. I woke up this morning and uh, this guy was dying. I just watched him die for an hour. I was petrified just sitting on my bed watching him die because I was too scared to get up. But uh, he is officially dead. Oh no, he's still moving. It's been fucking, it's eight o'clock now. It's taken him eight hours to die. But he's dying. He's the only one I've seen so far since my dad left, which is huge. But uh, yeah, full transparency. I'm gonna see one or two here and there until they all die off. All right, and okay. And still scared to open stuff. But here is my second closet with just my Ballerina dress. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna keep my shoes up there. <laughs> I have weird shoes, man. So anyways, you're walking down the hallway, you got the closet, and then my bed's right there. I don't even have pillows yet because I just, I, I wanna start fresh, man. But I have two fans going on me at night because my AC broke the first day I got here. And then we have the living area. So this is where I'm gonna put the couch and then a TV right here. And that's the AC that broke on me. So my dad's gonna come, oh, fly. But my dad's, oh, dirty fingernails. Um, my dad's gonna come back and fix the AC uh, in two weeks. So in the meantime, I got double fan, double fan action. What really sold me on this place was out here. I've got a patio. And then a scary alley right, oh, that's so scary. Okay, back inside. I don't know if you guys saw, but my next door neighbor had a party today. So I went on over and I got to meet her and I got to meet all of her friends. And she's the nicest girl in the world. It was Barbie theme. It was so much fun. I'm really happy with this place. I really am. I think it's going to be great as soon as all oh, those dirty little bastards die off. Um, and once I can stop looking over my shoulder, I slept here for the first time since the roach incident. And I didn't really sleep much. I just kept waking up every hour on the hour. Like I was so tired. I went to bed at like 5.30 in the morning. In my sleep, I just kept waking up out of fear. And that's probably gonna go on for a long time. So I'm gonna be pretty tired nowadays. But uh, once we get over this hump, this place is gonna be phenomenal. Also on top of that, there's a roof upstairs and uh, close this vlog out. Just like we're gonna get all the fucking cockroaches out.